Now, though, the city is so is different that you can work anywhere. So this is Michelle Perkins' home court, a team player inside the Seattle Fire Department. Ooh, you don't look, and he's starting to sweat. You know, <laughs> a firefighter paramedic. Back in the 90s, the Huskies power forward was lighting it up on the floor, leading the dogs. Not even two severe knee injuries would keep her down, especially now. I think I have a unique job. I think that I've had the privilege of serving people in a way. I mean, I've had people cheer for me for years. And so I've had now the opportunity to kind of give back into the same community that cheered for me. Perkins says the University of Washington helped shape her life. A rigorous basketball schedule, coupled with being a student athlete, made her who she is today. Once a Husky, always a Husky. Like, I will go on a run, and, I, and they remind me that, like, hey, didn't I watch you play? And it makes me like, like what? I'm focused on the patient. And, and when there's a moment, oftentimes people, I, I'm always a Husky. Even though I'm here and in a different uniform, people remember that. And I think that it's really great. But now Perkins is recognized for more important things like saving lives. The University of Washington School of Medicine has a terrific partnership with the Seattle Fire Department. And Perkins is center court, knowing firsthand why teamwork is crucial to saving someone's life. It is the ultimate assist. We receive some of the best training in the world. We have amazing doctors. We get great uh, uh, clinic and rotation opportunities. And they really let us get hands on because they know that we're going to be working with them in the future, that we are starting the pre-hospital care that's bringing these patients to them. The idea that her life experience includes the, the high level team sports, it just communicates to me right off the bat that she knows how to train, she knows how to perform, and she knows how to receive the feedback. And, and that's one of the great things about Michelle is that she's always trying to improve her, her performance. And in this case, it's the paramedicine, but you know, University of Washington, it was the basketball. Michelle Perkins has been with the Seattle Fire Department for 16 years. She's handled hundreds of situations, but there was one that happened when she was first on the job. Perkins was called to a home where a woman was in cardiac arrest, and little did she know that that emergency would really hit home. It was her rookie year, 2002, with the department when she received her first Medic 7 call. Cardiac arrest for UW athlete Kayla Burt, who was unconscious dying. On New Year's Eve, we get a run, and I see a girl literally in the same issued gear that we used to wear, right? Like, you know, the UW, and I'm like, oh my goodness. And, and then I called after we, res you know, re we resuscitated her and we got a pulse back. The girls, the teammates were like, the coach is on the phone. She wants to talk to you. And sure enough, it was the assistant coach, the same assistant coach I had. Not only does Michelle save lives, she builds lives. You see that she is guarding you. You need to be like when she's not with her fire department team, she's following her roots back to her early playing days at Lakeside High School, always giving back. She's really inspirational. One of the best high school basketball players to ever come to Lakeside. She's very dedicated to teaching us what she was good at in high school, and it's always a fun experience to learn what works for someone else. And she was an amazing player, and we all love working with her. She's so passionate about it. You always ask for the love. You're asking the guards for a tough pass. Michelle Perkins, inspiring, incredible, instrumental with everyone this former Husky touches. I have two daughters. They're, they're both uh, athletes. I would be proud if they would grow up to be like uh, Michelle. I've lived a fantastic life and I think I've uh, served others in a wonderful way and uh, I would just tell people to continue to dream and not to set limits and don't allow other people to set limits because a lot of people didn't think this is the place that I could be. Mm -hmm.